No, I don't know why you don't have your paper delivered, Mrs Bishop. Keep this young lady in pocket money. <laughs> Well, I don't want to prevent Sarah Louise from earning an honest income, but a, a delivery does seem rather unnecessary when I live just over the road. Oh, go on. I'm sure you can afford to indulge yourself in a few luxuries when you get to your age. <laughs> my age is my business, Mr Cole, as is my newspaper. Uh, yes, yes. I, I, I'm sorry, Mrs Bishop. I, I didn't mean to infer there was any degree of decline or I I infirmity. Uh... Well, I'm very glad to hear it. So, uh, how is Rita? Oh, the perfect patient. Temperature down, mucus subsiding. Oh, she, she'll be up and about in no time. Yes, well, that'll be a blessing. Hey, have you seen this? Bear bums. Have a look at him. Oh, do you know, I could do things with him. A bit young for you, innit? Don't be so flaming cheeky, yo. I might be long in the tooth, but I'm not short on the imagination. I think it's him who needs the imagination, not you. Yeah, well, why should you be the only one in this street with a bit of trouser? Yeah, well, I'm not anymore, am I? Why, has Mark dumped you, then? <laughs> You're joking. I dumped him. Morning. Oh, she was slagging me off. She never mentioned your love. Just told me she finished with Mark. Jumps in and out of bed with anyone these days, doesn't she? Oh, come on, Sawyer. I know she spoiled your party, but just try and go easy on her, will you? It wasn't just my party, it was my landlord as well. He had a right goat me about the noise. Yeah, well, she's been through a bad time of it. What, were you pregnancy, then an abortion, now a divorce? I mean, you've got yourself a new fella, a new home. How will Ian's just lost all that? Come on, David. Are you ready yet or what? And you better get a move on, too. It's all right. You take David. I'll lock up. Uh, no. I'll wait. What is it? Don't you trust me? Yeah, of course I do. It's all right, then. Right. Well, come on, sunshine. Look, Sarah Lou, I know things haven't been exactly right round here for a bit, but we're sorting it, OK? Yeah. But that doesn't mean you don't have to sort it, because you do. All right? I know. Right. I'll see you then. Hiya, Gary. Just the man I wanted to see. Good morning, Vera. I, I was just wondering if you were going to your mum and dad, you know, for Christmas. No. Uh, I've decided we're going to spend it on our own. You can't spend Christmas on your own. I don't really feel like celebrating, Vera. Well, it, it's twins' birthday. I know, love. You don't need to remind me of that. Uh, yeah. Go get yourself a bag of crisps and don't tell your mum, all right? Hey, great. Right. Hello, Vera. I was just going to pop over to your place to see poor Monica. Hey, sorry, Blint, sir. Tragic. There we were, with a winner one minute and a near corpse the next. Well, lad's beside himself. You don't surprise me. Mind, she'll live, so that's a blessing. Yeah, but she won't race again. Nay. Well, according to that. Eee, and all that prime meat gone to waste. Never mind the meat. That's no compared to the bill we'll get from that vet. Well, maybe I can put your mind at rest on that. I've had words with the syndicate, and us winnings will pay for running repairs, so the lad needn't lose any sleep on that account. But will it be enough? Well, we'll have a whip round if it isn't. I'll not see young Tyrone out of pocket. I say I'll not see him out of pocket, and you can tell him that from me. Oh. Hey, Dev, has there been any post left for me here this morning? Um, no. There you go. Yeah, that looks like the one. Thank you. You know, you should tell that postman that you live upstairs. Oh, I've told him loads of times. Mm. Just doesn't seem to sink in. Everything all right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fine. Just something I wasn't expecting, that's all. Well, really, Mum's got a point. Leanne has had a hard time. That doesn't mean she's got to go around acting like some sort of delinquent, does it? Look, I know she's causing all sorts of problems. But, but Toya, you know what they say? Someone who is a problem usually has a problem. 
Oh, so it's me, is it? I'm being the unreasonable one. I don't know, but well, maybe you should make more of an effort with her. You know, try and get back on good terms with her. She is your sister. Well, she put me in a bit of a spot. There I was getting David ready for school. Time was running late. She'd come back from her paper round. I said I'd wait. But she said, no, we should go. She'd lock up. So you let her go to school on her own? Well, yeah. Hey, but she went. I waited at the top of the street. There she was, school uniform, on time, the lot. <laughs> well, maybe our little talk's done some good then. Mm, it's a good start, isn't it? Anyway, any chance of a bite to eat? I'm starving. I've got a late shift this afternoon. Um, which reminds me, you don't fancy going to the hospital Christmas bash, do you? On Friday. Friday? Well, yeah, I wouldn't generally bother, but, uh, well, I thought it might be good for us both. And you'd really like me to? Well, I won't be asking if I didn't want you to go. OK. Look forward to it. OK. Three pints of bitter, please. Right. All right? Yeah, great. Good. We had a good laugh the other night, didn't we? Good laugh last night, from what I hear. Why? Who's been talking to you? Fancy jest, do you? It was all right. Bit of a case. Just a bit. We should go out again. Yeah, any time. Yeah, it's great, innit? No ties. Um, Leanne, there's a customer waiting to be served. Well, why don't you do it, then? Because I pay you two. I ain't got two pairs of hands, you know. Oi! Don't you talk to me like that. Sorry. I'm, I'm just a little bit tired, sorry. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. Time you've been getting in the morning. Go on. Fresh goes. Hi, um, could you put me through to James' kitchen, please? Thanks. Yes, it's neat to decide. Mm. Hello? Oh, right. Um, do you have any idea when I'll be back? Okay, um, yes, please do that. Um, just tell Mr. Kitching I called. Okay? Yeah. Neat to decide. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. What do you think you're doing? I'm ringing head office. That is not a direct line between you and James Kitchen, even if he is the boss's nephew. How do you know I'm ringing him? I just heard you. Oh, I'm sorry. If you're that desperate to see him, he's coming to the office around five-ish. Here? Yes, here. Ever since that forward with Fresco weekend, he's been making my life a total misery. I'm sorry, Curly. I didn't realise. He even wants to see the daily sales figures now. He wants me out and someone else in charge. Well, it's not going to be me if that's what you're worried about. Oh, no, I'm sure you're destined for higher things. With your connections, you could go anywhere. I doubt very much that my connections are going to be of much use to me anymore, Curly. I didn't get the job at head office. Oh, um... Oh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Are you? <laughs> I'm not going to enjoy Christmas, knowing Gary's stuck in that house on his own with them bands. It's not right, is it? Well, why don't you invite him round here? We've got room enough, haven't we? You think he'd come? Well, you don't know till you invite him. Now, are you sure you don't mind? Oh, no, no, no. I like his company. He's a grand lad, he's Gary. Yeah, and we are the godparents, aren't we? Yeah. I hope that'll be Tyrone. Now, have you organised his birthday Of course stuff? I have, of course I have. How's she been? Oh, right as rain. Oh, by the way, I, I'll give you them tablets at 12 o'clock, like the vet said. You're yeah, a <laughs> good girl, aren't you? Eh? Yes, you are. Anyway, come on, sit down. Your dinner's ready. Right. Hey, yeah. I were having a word with Kev before, and he reckons he can fix me some overtime. All right. So with the money that she won at the trap, mm. and what I can get from me overtime, I should be able to pay off the vetting stages. Look, you don't have to worry about that now. The money is sorted. Oh, thanks, but no thanks. I said I'm not having you shelling out for me bills. I'm going to pay them. No, it's not just us. No, they've got a syndicate. 
I saw, what's his name, uh, Fred Elliott in mm. corner shop this morning. And he said it's going to be a shared job. Mm. What, you mean they're willing to give up the winnings? And more, if need be. Oh, well, that's fantastic. I, I don't know what to say now. Oh, what about you? <laughs> Hi. Look at the state of you, eating again. Must be awful hungry work in there, eh? Well, they're not all for me. Oh, don't worry about it. Anyway, I don't know how you keep so slim. With great difficulty, when strange men keep asking me out for dinner. Oh, here. Very good competition. No. I'm glad to hear it. It was a really great night last night, Jim. Thanks a lot. Well, good. Let's do it again, then. Yeah, you bet. But next time, it's on me, OK? Eh, that's fine by me. <laughs> See ya. Cheerio night. She's a lovely lady, Mr MacDonald. Indeed she is, Nori, indeed she is. I'll just take a packet of these while I'm here. Oh, gypsy queens. They used to be my favourite when I was a boy. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, you can hardly blame me, mate. I mean... There I am across the road in that garage up to my oxters in Greece. Ha! Oh, I'll tell you, I don't mind telling you, I pine for the open road and the campfire sometimes. Oh, are you from Gypsy Stock then? No, not at all. Back to back Belfast, me, Nori boy. But I had plenty of campfires in the army, mind you. you know? Oh, yeah, yeah I, I'd forgotten you were a military man, weren't you? Aye, indeed. Best years of my life. Oh, don't say that. I'm sure there'll be a lot to look forward to yet in your life. <laughs> Such as? Well, like the. Uh... Aye, indeed. Let's hope you're right there, Nori. Hi, boy. Hi, Toya. Natalie, I'm sorry to bother you, but is that Leanne in? Yeah, she's upstairs. Do you think I could see her? Yes, if she's awake. What do you mean? Well, she's got about three nights out to catch up on. Oh, right. No. Go on, you go through. She's due behind here at six, so I was going to wake her anyway. Just have a seat through there. I'll give her a shout. Right, Tav. Uh... Leanne? Leanne, there's someone here to see you. Yes, well, don't hang about. I want you behind the bar at six. She'll be down in a minute. Tough. Hiya. What do you want? Yeah, she said you were getting up anyway, so... Yeah, what's up? No, it's up. I, I just wanted to talk to you about summer. No, you're not moaning about that party again, no, are no, you? No, no, I'm not. Right, then. Well, um, look, do us a favour, will you? Make me a cup of coffee and I'll go and get ready for work. Can you have a drink, please? Yeah, of course you can. Go and help yourselves. Are you staying for your tea? If it's no trouble. Of course it's not. What, then I can flash? Well, I could always get a takeaway. Oh, I don't be daft. I've got enough to go round. I don't know, yeah. Huh. Working your fingers to the bone for me when you've been standing in a cold stall all day. Yeah, I know. I should have picked a richer block. Hey, I'm not short of a bob or two. If you must know, I've just blooming spent a fortune on you lot. Have you? Afraid so. On what? It's a surprise. Oh, go on. I've just booked us all into a hotel for Christmas in Southport. The seaside. Brilliant. Yeah, so your mum won't have to slave over a hot stove now, will she? We can all just sit down and enjoy it. Southport? Yep, and Father Christmas is actually <gasps> going to be there. And they've got a babysitting service. Girls, why don't you go upstairs and get changed and wash your hands, cos your tea will be ready in a bit. What, don't you want to go? Well, yeah, of course I do. It's not that. Well, well, I thought you'd be pleased. It's just I wish you'd said something to me before you went and booked it. What's the problem? Kevin! Like, he wants to see the girls over Christmas. <sighs> yeah, of course he does. I never thought of that. And they want to see him as well. Oh, well, it's not a problem. I'll just cancel it. Well, you can't do that now, Danny, can you? You've told the girls now. Hello, Roy. Did you get me a message? Y yeah, yes, I did. Do you want a drink? Ah, uh, no, thanks. A bit early for me, yeah. It's 20 to 6. I, I, I came as soon as I shut the gap. Well, I thought you might want to hear some good news. Newton and Ridley have been in touch and they've agreed to provide an awning for nothing. Well, that, that, that's wonderful. Yeah, and that's not all. I've managed to get them to uh, throw in a bit of cash to sponsor the event. Oh, th th thanks, Natalie. I, I, I don't know what to say. That's wonderful. Well, I'd have that drink. Settle your nerves. Oh, buy it, please, Natalie. Yep. Yeah. I'll get that. No, it's all right. I've already got it. All right for babysitters, then. Yeah, God bless Emily. Is, is Emily at your house? I hope so. Do, do you mind if I call in on my way back? I've, I've got something I need to tell her. No? no? You help yourself? Oh, look, thanks, Natalie. It's, it's wonderful. We'll make this a millennium night to remember. We will indeed. Yeah. There you go. Coffee. Right, what do you want? I want us to make up. 
What do you mean? I mean, put all that party stuff behind us. Oh, you're still banging on about that, are you? Look, I told you, you did nothing wrong. It, it was just all the row and that, and I got into trouble with my landlord. So? So on your landlord. What's the big deal? OK, well, that's not really why I'm here. So why are you here, then? Are you OK? Yeah, why shouldn't I be? Look, it's a bit difficult. I don't like your new mates. What? Natalie and Betty? Not Natalie and Betty. Steve McDonald and that creepy Jez. Jez is all right? No, he's not. He's dead dodgy, you know he is. So? So I'm worried. I mean, you are my sister. And I've been neglecting you. <laughs> you are? I've been so wrapped up in Spider that I've not had any time for anyone else. Like who? You. I know it can't have been easy going through a divorce and that. And then there's me and Spider so happy. Are you saying I'm jealous? Not jealous. You think I am for you living with that weirdo? <laughs> you must be joking. If you think I top anything I've got for nights in playing Mr. and Mrs. in that crummy little flat, <laughs> you must be off your head. Come in here giving yourself airs and graces. You've got nothing I want. So why don't you go back to your own work and your exams and your pathetic little life and let me get ready for work? Everything all right? No, it's not. What's up with her? Oh, I just told her a few home truths, that's all. Oh, she seemed really upset. Not my problem. You want that freshening up? No, I don't. But I've got a few words of advice for you. You just keep away from my flat. What are you talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't want to see you any nearer than 50 feet in future. Well, what makes you think I'd want to go within 50 miles of your flat? Well, I can think of several attractions. Well, if you mean Mark, you can forget it, because I've dumped him. No, I was thinking more about money. 50 pound notes, to be precise. What are you saying? You know exactly what I'm saying. Um, what is this about? You ask her. Are they in bed? <sighs> I won't get to sleep. They're that excited. I am sorry, Sally. I should have checked with you first. Look, don't get me wrong, Danny. It was a lovely idea, and we'll all enjoy it. I know we will. But we've got to think about all this if we're going to make it work. What do you mean? I mean, it's not just a matter of taking me and the girls on. You have to take Kevin on as well. He's their dad. He's got rights. Yeah, I can see that. I just thought it'd be great if we could just all get away. Well, it will, and we'll all enjoy it. Just try and think ahead in future. So what do we do? I'll try and have a word with Kevin. Cheers. What did he mean? I've already told you nothing. Well, he didn't say all that for nothing. <sighs> OK, he reckons I pinched 50 quid from him. What, in here? No, in his flat. What were you doing in Mike's flat? Well, Mark took me back, didn't he? Didn't, um... Didn't Sharon once accuse you of nicking money? Yeah, she did. And then she remembered where she'd put it in the first place. Give a dog a bad name, see? So you didn't take Mike's money? Oh, you're at it now. No, of course I didn't. It'll be that slag Linda. She's the one who's taking him for every penny, not me. Hi, lads. Oh, there you are. Emily said you'd be in here. All right, I'm here. What can I get you? No, let me get you when you haven't got much money. I've got enough money to get an old mate a drink. Go on, then I'll have half a lager. Half a lager, please, Natalie. Yep. Now, look about Christmas. Oh, not that again. Well, you know what you were saying this morning about not going to your mother's? Well, I was having a chat with our Jack, and we both like you to come, you know, to us for Christmas to the B. It's very nice of you, Vera, but don't you think we'll put a down on a day for you? Well, yeah, cos, like... No, we love having kiddies, and it is kiddies' time, and we are good parents. Go on. See, you'll come. You never know, you might enjoy yourself. Oh, it's very good of you. We'd love to come. Oh. Well, I'll drink to that. Cheers. So, are they all right? So far? I'll have to take them with me and study them properly, of course. There's nothing wrong with them, you know. You're not being accused of incompetence, if that's what's worrying you. Ah, oh, Nita. Sorry to interrupt. No, no, we were just finishing. Well, I'll take these and get out from under your feet. 
Could I have a word? Sorry. Not just now. I've got to go. It's important, James. Uh, I'll tell you what. Why don't you use my office? I'm sure I can find something to do. Excuse me. I really do have to go. You're such a busy man nowadays. I've always been a busy man. I know. I've been uh, trying to get hold of you all day at head office, but uh, no success. Well, there you go. They uh, told me you were on your mobile, but you seem to have that switched off as well. I just don't like to be interrupted when no. I'm in meetings. No. Only I wanted to tell you about the job. The job? Of course. Well, did you get it? No. I didn't. And I'm trying really hard to understand why I didn't. I, I don't really know. I mean, I'm very surprised. I thought you stood an excellent chance. Well, that's what you led me to believe. Of course, these things are never a foregone conclusion. No, but from what you said, I didn't think I'd have any problems. Nita, I can put someone forward who I think merits promotion, but I can't be seen to be influencing interviewing panels. That wouldn't be ethical, surely. You said you'd have a word. And I did. I alerted them to your potential, but the final decision was always theirs. Besides, it was common knowledge that I was seeing you socially. It would have looked really bad if I'd stuck my oar in too far. And the boss's nephew can't be seen to have favourites, can he? James, this isn't what you were saying before. Before what? You know what I mean. Before I slept with you. You're not telling me that you only slept with me because you wanted promotion, are you, Nita? Because if that's the case, then I think we'd better call it a day. You think you're so clever, don't you? On the contrary, I think I've been a fool. I thought you really liked me for what I am. But all you wanted was a foot up the corporate ladder. That is not true. Isn't it? That's what it looks like from here. And I'll tell you this. I don't want a relationship with somebody who wants me for what I can do for them. I get more than enough offers like that from ambitious young women every day of the week. <laughs>